and they can cancel. Dear Virgil, we canceled your Toyota Tundra with us due to our inability to reach you. Our sales associate said, I make them pick why they're canceling the customer. I cannot talk to this customer. So I send that to the customer. <coughs> it comes from me. Sincerely, Ken Potter, Vice President of Sales. That's my email address. It's my phone number. I get telephone calls, too. This person wrote me back. Hello, Ken. I've had trouble responding to the order, but I'm very interested in this Tundra. If you can refer all further contact to my personal email address, meaning he doesn't want to talk to us on the telephone, and my sales rep is only trying to talk to him on the telephone, probably had a bad phone number he gave us. That would be more of a direct way of contacting me. I look forward to you locating the exact truck I'm searching for. And my friend back there asked me last night, or actually told me that I shouldn't be in business selling cars to people, right? And I respect that, because you're the dealer, it's your inventory, and you paid $10 million for your bill, and I paid nothing. Right? You know why I get the ability to sell people new cars? I get to buy them from you and turn around and make. My average gross is $1,200 on a new car after I buy it from you. I'm buying cars for $200, back of invoice, and back of invoice, and making $1,200. And the reason that I get to do that is because I give people value. I don't give people price. I give people value. And I talk to people like this. This guy right here, when I write him back and say, hey, I really want to help you. Thank you for sending me that. You know, I'm going to get you to one of my sales managers. He's going to buy a car. Most of these people end up buying a car. So, no, so he writes, this is at the bottom, why we canceled. No, it was the horrible salesperson. He had no motivation to help. The extent of the dedication to the customer, he spoke wrong, was that of 15 minutes. So one of my sales associates got him on the phone, tried to grind him out, and tried to sell him a car. Well, he got a response back from me, and he wrote back to me and said, nope, that's horrible. I wrote back, I appreciate your feedback. I truly apologize we failed to deliver anything except great service. I would be happy to have one of my managers assist you and even see if we can offer a discount on the car. That guy has already written me back and said, okay, Ken, I'm willing to go, right? And I get these every day, customers every day, and you will too if you actually build in your system a way to cancel your customers. You will get this, and all of these people, you, your highest closing percentage will be these people right here. Um, I'm in the market to purchase the following, blah, 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 blah. You can contact me at my email address. Every one of these, by the way, this you can contact me at the email address, means they put in a bad phone number. And your salespeople, you, you, they send the autoresponders, they send whatever you're sending, but all they're trying to do is call them, right? Nobody sent them an email and said, hey, I'm trying to help you. You might have put in a bad phone number, and I realize you probably don't want to talk to me on the phone. Is email the best way of communicating with you? You don't even need to worry about that if you do the uh, general manager or owner email. People will write to you. Again, I get hundreds of these. Hi, Ken, I've canceled this order. I've gotten a much better price that was offered by your associate. I don't know what that was. You know, don't know where I went wrong there. Yes, I'm still interested. I never did receive a quote from Cars Direct. Can you send me the quote? Thanks, Ken. I'll keep your information and contact you in the future. I have not canceled my rogue order. My last contact with Cars Direct was a phone conversation with Carol yesterday. As I mentioned in my prior email, she confirmed a quote, blah, 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 which I am willing to pursue. The only additional information I still need is taxes, fees, in order to get final out the real price. Many thanks. I look forward to your reply. I'm telling you there is gold in the thousands of people you have. I don't care where you get them from, third party, your own website, you should force your salespeople to say, I am not selling you a car, here's the reason why. And give the customer the ability to write to somebody important, general manager, owner, vice president of customer service. They will write you. What I used to do in the early days, I'm gonna give you another little tip, is I used to go and I used to head draw with these emails, right? <laughs> Then my people started changing the emails in the system, <laughs> and I couldn't even email the customers anymore, right? You don't want to do that, right? 